And we got the antique, antique 2001. No, it's a 2000, my fault, 2000, y'all. YZ426. I thought it was a 450 at first, YZ450, but it's a throwback, 426. Um, I'm not gonna lie, um, a lot of people say the YZ426 is, they be faster than a, a YZ450. Y'all let, let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. But yeah, y'all, pretty much with this bike, um, he pretty much made, you know, put the wrong lever on here, uh, made a lever. To go on here um the back tire is flat the front tire is bald but he gave me a new tire yeah, he gave me a new tire with the bike or whatever this is like an enduro tire a little bit am i tripping or what oh there you go i can't see it's a 90 90 21. yeah my fault that's a 90 90 21. i can't see the letter the letter is so small on it but yeah, he got a brand new front tire. Um, his back brakes don't work. As, as y'all can see, no brake pads. He missing the, the brake rotor screw. Um, what else? His brake line is bad. Brake line got a hole in it. Uh, with this bike, he said this bike got a lot of compression. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of compression or whatever. It's, it's hard to kick, but with these older bikes, they have a decompression valve, so you gotta kind of hold a hold on decompression valve. And while you kicking, while you kicking it, you gotta let it go. Like when you when you come up top dead center, you know what I'm saying. When you go to top dead center, don't use the compression valve. And when you feel it click, and your foot stop, you grab it, and you kick down and let go at the same time. And the bike. That would have the bike start easier. It's like a um, you know, it's like a timing thing with this with, with this um decompression, the throwback one. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it with it. But what we gonna do? We just gonna run through everything, man. We gonna check the valve, the valve clearances, check the timing, um, clean the carburetor. Yeah, we are gonna clean the carburetor and give it a tune up. But most likely, he definitely gonna need a tube for the back tire. Uh, he got the front side. What else he gonna need? The back brakes, back brake line. Yeah. Oh yeah, he said his shocks, his shocks is um, is weak on here too. His shocks is kind of weak. So we might have to go ahead and find him another, a good shock or something like that. See what's going on, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, some, and some levers, the brake levers. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it started, pour the gas tank off, pour the seat, and we gonna, um, I'm gonna pull the valve cover off too, so we can check the valve clearances and the spark and everything. But other than that, y'all already know the vibes. I'm gonna tap back in. I'm tapping back in real quick. As y'all can see, I got the cam cover off and all his valve clearances is, is perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's slide through nice and smooth on every single one. Nice and smooth. All right, put the exhaust. Nice and smooth. That's one. All right, nice and smooth. And the timing and everything is on point. So, all right, y'all. So, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the um the cam cover back on. Whatever. The bike got coolant. So I'm putting the cam cover back on. And we are gonna take that carburetor off. And we are gonna clean the carburetor and give it that V tune. But um. Other than that, um, I'm gonna tap back in and we're gonna see what's going on, but he's still gonna need, y'all know he's gonna need that tube or whatever. I think he said the back tire got a flat leak, but yeah, y'all already know the vibes. Down to the car bridge, you're gonna blow through all the holes like we always do. You know, it took all the jets out. Make sure you blow through all the jets and everything. But um, y'all already know the vibes. Now I'm gonna tap back in about clean the car bridge and put it back together. We're gonna go from there. I'm tapping back in real quick, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did a couple things to the bike or whatever, y'all. Um, I put brand new number plates on it that he um that he bought for the bike. Um, what else? I put fork guards. Only thing he missing is the number plate, you know what I'm saying? I put motor oil in it, fresh motor oil, because he was low on motor oil. Um, and I went ahead and adjusted the chain too. You know what I'm saying? I adjusted the chain. But it's um it's a couple more things the bike gonna need though, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like he gonna need the back brakes. You know what I'm saying? The back brake um, kit. Um, what else? He gonna need new grips. 
you know what I'm saying? And the number plate, that's if he, you know, if, if he killed to put a number plate on it. Um, and the bat ties, we're gonna do something about these ties, y'all. But um, yeah, other than that, we gonna, we gonna see if we got that V-touch, you know what I'm saying? The pipe is cold, holding the pipe. We gonna see if that thing got that V-touch, y'all. Y'all pray for me. Let's see. Let me know what y'all think about the YZ 426, you know what I'm saying? The 2000 YZ 426. Y'all think it sound like a 450? Y'all think it's faster than a 450, slower than a 450? Y'all leave a comment on that. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, y'all, other than that, man, we gonna, um, the bike pretty much got the V-touch right now, but it's a couple more things that we're going to have to do with the bike. But other than that, y'all already know the vibe, man. Um, yeah, I'm going to test ride the bike after we, you know, after we do those other things because, you know, his brakes is not really, really good and stuff like that to be test riding the bike or whatever. So I'm not going to test ride it right now like this. But um, y'all already know the vibe, man. Y'all stay tuned. Then after we do the um, you know, do those couple small things that the bike missing, then I'm gonna test ride the bike then. But other than that, y'all already know the vibe, man. We're gonna go from there, South Florida vibes.